from Does Size Matter and we are here at the Calgary RV Expo in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So remember the numbers that we're going to share with you will be Canadian dollars and we are at the travel land section of the show and they have are carrying the Pleasure Way brands. So there'll be a link in the corner to get to the construction video that we've made of it and the construction video includes both the ascent and the on tour but in this video we're going to take you on a tour of the Pleasure Way Ascent. This is a very cool rig. So so starting at the front, you do get the Mercedes chassis uh, with the Ascent. And like I said, go to that construction video and we'll give you all the nuts and bolts and details about that uh, Mercedes chassis. These are beautiful rigs. All the fiberglass pieces that are added are made there in the Pleasure Way plant. And then they use automotive uh, paint to make it this beautiful and make it all work together. You do get the LED lights, you get all of the safety features that come with the Mercedes-Benz So on the Ascent, you can see this is a true Class B um, because it's the whole RV part, Pleasure Way builds out inside the Mercedes chassis van. So it's not the wide body that you might see in a B+. Um, a little more stealthy, definitely easy to drive around. Anybody could drive one of these. Um, they do, like I said, build out all their own fiberglass pieces so that we get nice uh, running boards to step up into and to get in on the other side. They match everything perfectly. Um, beautiful frameless windows in these rigs. You get an outdoor shower. Down here is where you're going to find um, your valves and your, your, where you hook up your sewer hose so that you can drain your tanks. Uh, you do get a, I believe it's a 30 amp hookup, yep, hookuping your uh, water, your cable to turn your propane on and off. Um, it, I, I know it's a little hard to see here at the show because there's panels and stuff, but there's a, the Truma um, AquaGo hot water heater with the Comfort Plus. Look at the construction video, I've given you more information on that there, but these are wonderful. Coming on back, uh, let's take a look at these tires. What has Mercedes-Benz got? So these are a Michelin um, A-Glide. LTX. Let me find the numbers for you. I mean, you all know that I'm not a tire expert, but it says LT24575R16 120 1160. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping that gives you the information you would require to make any tire decisions that you're thinking about. Again, those windows are beautiful. I'm going to show you because I can't show you on this one and I'm sad about it. But when I show, if you go look at the on tour, uh, tour that we're also going to put up for you, these doors open all the way around and come up against the side of the rig. The beauty of that is when you're inside, the whole back is open and there's a screen in there that rolls down. So you don't have to worry about bugs, but you get an amazing view and you get all that airflow in and out of your rig. It's like having inside outside. I really, really love it. It's very cool. So I can't sneak through here. Oh, there is a hitch though. I wanted to point out, I'm not sure what the towing capacity is, but I'm guessing, guessing around 5,000 pounds on the Mercedes chassis. But I'm going to clarify that for you because you can tow more on the Mercedes chassis. So let's sneak around. Pardon? Oh yeah, Corey just pointed out you do get uh, cameras around this rig so you can see all around you and uh, watch what you're doing when you're backing up. So let's sneak around the other side and take a look. Come on. All right, we're back. <laughs> so now we're on the passenger side. Um, the things that I want to point out back here are that you do get some electrical outlets. This is an automatic door because these are kind of heavy doors, so it's kind of nice to just be able to push a button and have it close. Again, they're beautiful. There is a generator 
in here as well. And I can see the generator exhaust here. I'm not exactly sure how you access it. So if I can find the rep, I'll ask him, because boy, the rep for Pleasure Way, really good. So also looking up, you get the electric awning and uh, it, I'm quite confident, has LED lighting in it. I'm noticing the strap on it though. What do you think that's for, Cora? Not sure? I don't know. I'll have to ask the rep that too because I I don't know how we'd climb up there to get that yeah, strap off. Climb up there. <laughs> so okay. we'll ask about that too. Come on though, let's go in. So here at the Travel Land section of the Calgary RV Expo, you can get the 2020 Pleasure Way Ascent TS for $154.9. Remember, Canadian dollars. Come on in, let's go see. Wow, hey, this is really nice. Okay, first off, I like I like the easy in steps. Who doesn't love this? Right? So we can be I can be working at the kitchen, which I might add has a pull-up countertop. So there's lots of countertop space. And be looking out, right? Like this is your passenger side. This is out to the lake. This is your view and it's massive. And then you get this awesome uh, roll down screen that goes in here and that has, it attaches to this magnet. So once I've got my screen all rolled down and zipped up, I can go in and out just by moving that magnet. So I get a view, I get airflow. It's easy in and out. It's low maintenance. I love that. So this is a very nice solid surface countertop. Pleasure Way uh, makes all of its own all wood cabinetry screwed down. They, well, you'll find all this out in the construction video too, but they do not move these rigs down a uh, line. They go to stations. So the rig will stay in a station and the cabinet maker comes in and one guy builds out all of the cabinetry in here. And then the plumber and the electrical and those guys come in and they fit around. But this rig stays in its one station and it works with the same person throughout its whole build out. So kind of neat. Now let's take a look. What do we got? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Nice sized stainless undermount sink. So it looks good. It's also very functional because you know, sometimes in small rigs, the, uh, actual use is not as good as could be. Nice big tap, sprayer comes out. Coming back, what do we got for a stove here? So this will be the two burner propane. Um, so remember the propane is mounted underneath somewhere. You get electrical, you get, oh wow. See, they are nice. Those are nice cabinets. I think it's a soft close too. Watch this. It is very nice. Okay, so you get three of those. So in this cabinet, when we open that up, I mean, it's a, a bit of a bugger because you always have to work around the plumbing, which kind of screws up your, your space, but there is space there. The other thing that I noticed is underneath uh, the flip up counter, there is electrical, just so you know. So you've got two. Um, then moving back, you can also see that you do have uh, some venting for heat. Ooh, I can even feel heat coming out of there. So I guess the point I want to make is that that Truma Vario furnace is here, but there is a few spots throughout the rig where they're able to vent it as well, just to spread the heat around a little more. And coming back, they do use uh, the ultra leather to cover all of their uh, foam, um, and it's a memory foam seats, which are what make into the bed, right? They have the, um, what do they call it? A Laguna, I believe is the brand name of the table that you can uh, move around. Now, I'm not sure where the other spot would be, if there is another spot, but you can move this table into different places and shapes. I think the couch back here is seating and has seat belts that 
are all appropriate, hooked in properly, seat belts, and then it is also an electric bed that makes down. Now, once the table's out of here, the bed folds down. You can see there's some little uh, ledges here so that you can make, put in the other piece and make this into a, quite a large bed. There's also electric and USB ports back here. These windows are single pane windows, just for your information. Um, and then they pull out this way. So that's where your airflow comes in. I also want to point out that there's another USB port down there. There's never enough of that for us. Um, and then let's look at this cabinetry because I mean, these are nice solid doors and they stay up there. There's quite a bit of space in there and it just keeps going back, right? So I like those. And then there's another one here. Wow, that's really quite big. So I like that. And another one here. And another one here. Oh, and this one then has, uh, you know, all your electronic device type of things. Also, while I'm back here, um, you can see that you do get an AC that is um, not ducted throughout, but you're in such a small space that you don't really need ducting all of the place. This is going to cool this down, no problem at all. Also, if we move back over here to the kitchen, you get your uh, refrigerator. I'll get the exact size for you. But this is, this is a decent fridge, and it does have the... Um, little freezer mm -hmm. and you know that I love the size of this right <laughs> like you can fit it or we can fit everything easily and reach everything easily and because this isn't sitting up way high you can get at this microwave oven and it's kind of small and it's also not convection but it's good microwave you do get all LED lighting throughout and um, yeah why don't we bring you guys back here so you can see what's up there. So back here is where your TV is. So imagine you're on the couch or you're nice and comfy in your bed. You can watch your TV. You do have the control system um, that really diagnoses problems, controls all the lighting, controls your tanks, controls everything you need to know about your rig right here. You also get the uh, blinds, and I believe these are electric blinds, so I can't pull it down and show you, but they will uh, darken the whole area for you and keep it private. And then moving up, we get to our bathroom. And you don't even really know it's a bathroom, but it is. And it is a uh, wet bath, but in the world of wet baths, this is pretty good. What we, Corey and I, both really like about it is it has this little sink. I mean, the sink could even be smaller and still be functional, but we like having a sink in here because when your kitchen is occupied, you're using it, you're cooking, you're doing dishes, whatever, you want to be able to wash your hands and brush your teeth and that kind of thing. So we really like this. I like the mirror here. Uh, these are nice fixtures. You do get a bit of a window, which does have a shade on it. You're going to have the shower curtain to close this up. You do have a towel rack, but of course, when you're having a shower, that's <laughs> you need your towel out. You do get a, I'm just trying to look for a brand name. Not sure what brand this toilet is, but it is a porcelain bowl foot flush. And I mean, there's plenty of room, right? We're, we're fine. I mean, you have to decide that for yourself. We're fine. This is a decent enough space for us. So I like the bathroom. I like the fact that you have a bathroom. That's one of our requirements that we've mentioned many times before is that we need to have a bathroom. So it's all a tiny space that works really well and you've got the bathroom. And the thing about it is, this is what we've noticed. We boondock, we're spending the night at Walmart, whatever. We see somebody pull in in a van, no big deal, right? People, that's what this is, it's a van but then we'll see them get out and brush their teeth outside and they have to go into Walmart to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think I would ever want to be able to do that if I'm going to have a van. It needs to be as stealthy as this 
and still have the luxury of a bathroom. So I also want to point out the flooring that's in here. And this is a vinyl floor and it's just in these spaces and it's a super high quality vinyl and it's thick and at first i'm thinking yeah 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 whatever you can feel this when you walk in you can feel it it's also going to be warmer more comfortable on your feet and in a space like this they can afford to put high quality flooring in so very nice let's go check out the cockpit so you do get the uh, standard mercedes seats uh, and these themselves are a very nice leather because I don't think they've been recovered. Um, I'm kind of laying back here, but they are, I think, all, all the, I don't have the power on, so I can't show you how the seat moves. But it swivels, turns around, it's going to move up and down. You get these great uh, passengers' windows. All of the safety features are here, like as far as airbags and that kind of thing. Um, and then it has the lane assist and the collision assist and those kinds of things to help you out. And I mean, you're just driving along in a vehicle is what you're doing. This is just a van that you're driving around. Even I could drive this. So Corey, do you want to have a seat in the driver's seat and tell us what you think? I also want to mention one of the resources that we use extensively is RVreviews.net for any type of RV. They have great information. Uh, we'll link it below uh, in our description and I highly recommend you use it. We're in the cockpit of the 2020 Pleasure Way Ascent. Um, it's a Mercedes chassis, so like all other platforms that are in Mercedes chassis, uh, very consumer van-like dash controls. You have your controls for your um, stereo, your volume, your tuning, all your Bluetooth, um, voice command is run through here, idle shifters. Uh, if you want to use them. Um, very easy layout, easy to drive, much like any other van on the road. Um, adjustability, I think that with like most modern vehicles of this type or pickups or cars, um, I would, I'm able to adjust it enough that if I had my backrest, which I always bring with me, I would be able to drive this without any modification. So I love that. Um, yeah, overall good layout quality unit I think and the running boards this one has running boards as well which make it much easier to get in and out of so I love that all right let's go over the numbers on the 2020 pleasure way ascent TS so let me tell you so we've talked about the fact that it's on the Mercedes-Benz chassis the GVW uh, 8550 pounds uh, the that it is a diesel we've in the construction video we talked about more of the specs around the um, motor the uh, length 19 foot 5 inches so it really is quite short um, the width with the mirrors out seven foot 11 inches when you pull them in it would be seven foot one inch like you need to make this any skinnier uh, the overall height nine foot seven inches the interior standing height which is an important number is six foot three inches the fresh water 20 us gallons the gray 15 us gallons the black 12 us gallons and i'll just go over that again in canadian uh because that's where we are. So you got 75 liters on the fresh, 57 liters on the gray, and 45 liters on the black. Uh, there is 8.16 uh, US gallons for your propane, which is 31 liters. Towing capacity is 5,000 pounds. It, the bed size, when this is all made down, is 70 inches by 72. And then you can have that, um, little blow up thing that goes in the front to make an extra bed space there if you wanted it. Oh, the TV back here is a 24 inch. The refrigerator is a three way 3.8 cubic foot fridge. You get a 2.5 kilowatt Onan propane generator, a 16,000 BTU furnace and 11,000 BTU uh, air conditioner. Oh, sorry, you know what? I might have made a mistake in the construction video. It's actually a 200 watt uh, solar panel. And then all these screens and stuff come standard as well. So, hope you liked this one. 
Give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe because we love sharing all of these with you. Come along on an adventure. Thanks for watching.